D the third. What does the A? What is the A? Of course, like what is the third? The third. What's going on? What's good with that? What's the story? All right. So my grandfather's name is Adrian. He's Adrian Senior. My dad's name is Adrian too. He's Junior. Mm -hmm. And when my mom was pregnant with me, the intentions were to have me to be Adrian the third. Yeah. That's what it was. But when my mom just had me, she named me Kyle for whatever reason. <laughs> but like, that's who I was supposed to be. So I feel like me becoming a rapper because like for a long time, all my friends used to always tell me like, "Yo, you should rap. Like, yo, you're nice. Why aren't mm -hmm. you doing it?" Blah blah blah. So I feel like I'm becoming who I was supposed to be. Uh, I was supposed to be Adrian the third. So uh, I used to order, the nickname was AD for my dad throughout his high school and everything. So mm -hmm. showing it to AD the third. Nice, nice. Yeah. Sounds good. It definitely. Is. That clears things up. Yeah, it definitely does. does. Your mom just wasn't wasn't feeling the she AD. She wasn't feeling AD. I don't know. Maybe she was mad at my dad. Might have been one of something. those situations that yeah. day or something. I don't know what it was. Just I switched it up. She's like, I'm naming him Kyle, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> regardless of what it is, we have AD the third all the way in the mm -hmm. building and um, delivering the happy belated. Now, absolutely. You just said that you turned 19, but I'm pretty sure there's more. Uh, that goes with the Happy Belated, the title of the mixtape. Yes. Do you want to um, um, explain why you named it yeah. Happy Belated and what does it mean to you? That goes along with the idea of um, my friends telling me that I should have done it before, like, like for years. Like, this this mixtape is new to everyone else, but I've been, like, creating songs I just didn't put out for a long time. Mm -hmm. All my boys were banging in the house and stuff. So, like, when you say Happy Belated... It's saying, like, you should have said happy birthday before. You should have done something before. Mm. Yeah. So now you say happy belated, but it's late. You know what I'm saying? But you finally did it. So by me making music, you know what I mean, and putting it out, it's late. But, you know, I finally did it. So yeah. it's happy belated. Happy belated. Happy belated. I see it all the yeah. way. Better late than never, you know what I'm Man, saying? Definitely. definitely is. It all seems to be the perfect time. So and you know, yeah, yeah, like I was telling you earlier, like the timing and the way that you're. You're promoting and the way that yeah. you're releasing um, different tracks and like the video for Cleopatra, which came out what like two weeks ago. Uh, the Magic Mike video. Or yeah, 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 yeah that one. About, and then the chart. About. Continue what you were saying. No, nah, I came out just about two weeks ago. I did um some shots here at URI. Yeah. And my my building Hopkins and um some shots in Providence. So yeah, about two to three weeks ago. I hear there's a video that you're shooting <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. What's good with that? Yeah. You um, spill some beans on that. Love, uh, coming up. Tomorrow, actually, with Cass. Hey. And uh, we have somebody playing Bobby the female nope. part in the role. Okay. And wait, what song was it for? Uh, the, Wood Wood, the Two Sides of Woodward Avenue Love, Two Sides ah, of Story. I had a question about that. What is Woodward Ave? Uh, can you All right. Tell well, us the song's about, about um, me and my ex girlfriend. Okay. okay. And uh, I actually wrote the song in like 20 minutes, real quick, fresh mm -hmm. off an argument. But um, we both lived on Woodward Avenue for our whole lives. Mm -hmm. And, like, we didn't start going out until high school, but, like, from elementary to middle school. And I always had, like, the biggest crush on her. Like, yeah. Seeing her go up and down the street, no, it's for real. And she was, like, she had a friend who kind of lived near me, so she used to, like, ride her bike and stuff, like, around mm -hmm. her. I always had, like, the biggest crush on her. That so, would what I have loved. Oh. <laughs> I see it all the yeah. way. I definitely like that. So you opened up the mixtape with, um, with uh, talking about Chantel. Yeah. Which is I know from like from previous like I you've talked about her in yeah. the past. Um, what what influence does she have on the mixtape and like all of the production? A huge part because yeah, like definitely. this was probably about this time last year when I was a freshman and um I was here and uh, she went off to um I don't know what college she went to but she was went somewhere. Yeah. And we were both on the path to success. Like, if you know her, she was somebody you know who's going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, like, suddenly I just got word that she passed away. She died in a, a fatal car accident. Yeah. And it was, like, shocking. Like, it rocked my whole world. So, this happened on Thursday, and I was gone for, like, the whole weekend. And, like, till Tuesday, I didn't go to none of my classes. Yeah. And, um, while I was there, I held a memorial for her at, um, somewhere we grew up at, Hull Street, where I met her. And, like, from there, like... I seen that she was on the path towards what she wanted to do in life. And I just thought, like, yo, life's so short that I should pursue what I want to do. So from right there, I instantly, like, after her funeral, I instantly just seen the vision of Happy Belated. Like, I came up with the yeah. name. I came up, like, I, f I seen the whole vision. It was just a matter of putting it together. Mm -hmm. And um, she was definitely an inspiration behind that. She was somebody who supported me. One of the people who told me I should be rapping for a long yeah. time, too. So when she passed, I just wanted to, you know what I mean, do something for her. I even got the blessing from her mother. I talked to her, just dedicated to her, and I talked to her whole family about it. So, yo, it's yeah. a it's a dope piece of work. 
Definitely. Yeah. Well, through the title, great well, influences. Thank yeah, what other influences uh, take place? Um, Chantel's a big one. Yeah. I would say my my ex, she had a big thing on it. And just like the people I grew up around, like I told, before I released it, I um I showed a lot of my friends. And I told them like, yo, this is, this is me, but like, this is all of us. Cause yeah. like, mm -hmm. this is something that you helped me build. Like you influenced me to the Your point where- experiences. Yeah, right? exactly. So all the people that's around me, whether that's like my dad, I showed my dad the tape, I showed my mom, my little sisters. Um, I showed everyone, you know? Yeah. So, it wasn't just me. It's bigger than AD the third. It's everyone who supported me and helped me become the person I am now. Mountain, is it true love? I feel it in my chest. Every time it lips touch me, it just takes away my breath. Um,